Good evening and welcome to the 99th annual graduation ceremony of Buckeye Union. I am Venus Oshner, your 2019-2020 student body president. Fact of the day, we have finally made it. I know this year was not how we planned, but we made the best of it. My condolences go out to anyone who was affected by COVID-19. To begin, I would like to start off by thanking everyone who has helped me along the way. Student Council has been a wonderful journey for myself, and I am so grateful that I received the opportunity to be a member for four years and engage with people who wanted to make the best events and environment for our campus. Thank you to my advisor for leading the way. By my senior year, I could read her mind and knew exactly what she wanted. She was skeptical and probably a little scared that I knew her so well, but we had some laughs about it. Shout out to the English, History, Math, PE, Art, and Spanish department for being mentors and someone I could talk to about anything I needed help with. I love going to your classes and learning beyond the subjects. To the volleyball program, thank you for teaching me patience. Our seasons were not the best, but I learned how to persevere. Also, a huge thank you to the basketball program for teaching me that I was able to work hard for anything I wanted. If I could get through those suicides and yelling, I knew nothing could stop me. Thank you to track and softball for helping me realize that I could accomplish any goal I had if I just tried. I would also like to thank tennis. It was one of the best programs I have been a part of, and I'm sad we did not get to finish our season. Also, sorry coach for almost hitting you with the ball at practice. Thank you to my mom, family, and close friends for guiding me and trying your best to help me through everything. I love you. Also, I have to mention my older sister, Laura, because she put me in her speech while I was a freshman and she was a senior class president. So thank you for leading the way and showing me that I should do what you do, but better. High school was a fun yet stressful time for me, but I learned that impact is bigger than intent. Anyone can say that they will do something, but how will the results sit? Most of the time, we plan to do things with good intentions, but do not realize how it actually influences what we want to achieve. I hope that what you want to do in life is not based off your words, but off of your actions, because the result is what matters, not your intentions. Class of 2020, I think we all have realized how valuable time is. So try to plan things out the best you can, but make sure you realize that you cannot control everything that happens. You can only make the best of situations. Make sure you love your impact more than your intent. I love the time I have spent with all of you since freshman orientation, sitting in the PAC together, not knowing anyone except the kids we knew from middle school, to interacting and making amazing memories with you at assemblies, sporting events, dances, and outside senior activities. Thank you for letting me be the person you trust and ask hundreds of questions to. Signing off forever, Venus Oshner. Have a fly life, Hawks. Class of 2020, we finally made it. Up until now, our lives have been pretty planned out for us. We had to go to elementary and middle school, then we moved up to high school, and it's been 13 years of being directed different places. This is when things change. We are now being asked what we want to do. The past 13 years, we didn't have a choice, but now they want to know what we're thinking about our futures. This wasn't such a major question when we were five. That was easy. I wanted to be a lunch lady. I also wanted to dye my hair rainbow, though, so it's probably best I couldn't make my own decisions then. When we were 12, our answers became a bit more serious. I wanted to be an interior designer, but it's not like that was locked in. I still had plenty of time to change my mind. Now that the time is here, we're expected to know what we want to do and have a plan to back it up. It's so crazy to think about how we need to try and pick the right path for ourselves when we're barely becoming adults, not to mention that there are so many options for us university, trade school, military, community college. Neither, none of those has a flashing sign saying, pick me, I'm the one. This place of uncertainty in your life is how every day for the rest of your life will go. I mean, we didn't know we would have to miss the last couple months of our senior year because of a global pandemic. No one could have expected that. So do what makes you happy. You're not going to be able to plan out every aspect of your life from this point forward so pick a direction that you feel good about and take it as it comes. Now is the time for us to make major life-changing decisions, sure, but it's also the time when we're supposed to make mistakes, take risks, and make the crazy memories we'll look back on when we're 70. Life is full of what ifs. You can come up with a million possible bad outcomes, but you can also come up with a million possible great ones. 
I wish all of you luck on whatever path you choose, and I hope you make a lot of memories along the way. I know we already have some great ones. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hey, class of 2020. We all have grown so strong, and we have overcame so many obstacles throughout our four years in high school. I got to meet and be friends with many of you, which I am very grateful for. Thank you to my best friends for always being there for me, making me laugh, and so much more. You guys really made my high school experience even better. The saying is very true, that freshman year you have so many friends, but in the end you will only be left with your real and close ones, and I am thankful for that. I'm grateful for the struggles I've had because it really shaped me as a person. Thank you to my family for always pushing me when I wanted to give up or when I already had senioritis my junior year. My family really pushed me to keep going and told me I'm almost at the finish line. I want to give another shout out to my freshman science teacher. He was truly passionate about teaching and the class helped me have a love for biology. Ever since then, I've always had a love for science and enjoyed my anatomy class and sports med classes. All this has led me to major in biomedical sciences at Arizona State University, fall 2020. I'm sad we didn't get to finish our senior year the way we wanted to, but I wish you all the best in life and never settle for less. Before I begin my speech, big shout out to my close friends, family, fellow classmates, and the teachers I've had in the past. All of the IV teachers, the English and Math Department, and the Social Studies Department, you guys know who you are. Reflecting back on my four-year high school experience, I've learned so much that I cannot condense the amount of information from both public and online platforms such as YouTube. Without further ado, I can attribute a triad or three great lessons or ways of thinking that make me who I am today. In a world of mass information like never before seen, it's very easy to become comfortable. If you settle for less, you'll never get more. Build your mindset with your habits. You can change who you are and the mindset you possess by constantly challenging them, pushing for new boundaries. The internet has popularized many memes with the underlying theme of a mindset. We have Karens who would love to speak to your manager, Boomers who are too out of touch with the modern world, and Zoomers who are all the latest trendy stuff like man buns, thrasher t-shirts, airpods, and oddly still enough playing Fortnite, <coughs> Johnny. Leading me to my second idea, if you open up your mind and challenge your prior ideas by taking some type of risk, whether that's physically, mentally, or socially, you can change for the better or worse, depending back upon your mindset. A personal challenge I find myself taking is opening up a discussion to someone who is in complete denial of my claim. For the people who know me, they know I love to talk and at times I can be a little arrogant, but it's for the fun of entertaining my thoughts as well as theirs. I have fun in finding someone who is willing to stick a claim, especially on the opposite end of what I'm trying to talk about, in hopes that if I shut my mouth for just a minute, I might have learned something new. Leading me to my last idea, once you've learned something new, enjoy the moment. Be a part of it. Living in the moment can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. For me, it's about having an experience, creating the memory, and remembering exactly how I felt in that moment. In this cycle of living, I can only try to remember that one day we will all be gone. We were born to die. You breathe in, you breathe out. With a sea of life, the waves come crashing in and they soon fade out. Nonetheless, I enjoyed my high school experience. Let's, let's all go out and enjoy the life we have to live by cultivating a mindset, challenging ourselves, and ultimately enjoying the process we created for ourselves. Good evening, I am Ben Rodriguez, the proud principal at Buckeye Union High School, home of the Hawks. It is indeed an honor to share with you the special joy of this occasion. The class of 2020, thank you so much for being a Buckeye Hawk during your senior year. It is with great pleasure that I share the many experiences that have led all of us to this celebration. First, I'd like to thank a few people that are responsible for senior student success. Parents and guardians of graduates, thank you for entrusting us with your amazing kids and your continued support. We appreciate you and value you. I also would like to show value to our teachers and staff at Buckeye Union High School as they work courageously to build a positive school culture, impact learning, and commit to preparing our students for the next level, life. I'd also like to talk to you about the power of focus. True story. I was on a plane on my way back from my first speaking engagement for the International Center of Education as a model school principal, completely humbled, at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. 
I found myself wearing the same socks for three days straight. Yes, I forgot to pack my socks. I didn't do a good job packing my clothes either. On the plane ride home, I took my shoes off to relax a little. My wife said, what's that smell? My gosh, put your shoes back on, Ben. I looked at her and said, I don't smell anything. And then I got that stare. Well, the reality is that when we live in the past or look backwards, everyone around us smells that stink. Here's my point. Sometimes we stink and we don't even know it. How many of you thought of this COVID-19 situation became better? Well, really can't answer why any of this happened to us this spring. And with that, I, I wanna think that there's something leadership in this experience for all of us. I mean, will we choose to be a victor or a victim? If we choose to carry around bitterness, unforgiveness, guilt, focused on being angry about something, you know, might not realize, but you end up sticking up your life. That's pushing people and opportunities away. Because of the way our minds are wired, we're designed to do things that are not comfortable, scary, or difficult. See, in order to get your dreams, you're gonna have to do what's sometimes difficult, uncertain, scary. At the bottom line, it's most people are never gonna feel like it. You can't have your mind on yesterday and expect to go forward. The only difference between people that are positive and expecting good things and people that are bitter and negative is the second group holds on to that baggage. They almost get addicted to it because they focus on it so much. The first group has learned to drop it like a Disney song, which is what I would love to encourage all of you to do. It's possible. I didn't say it was easy, but I said it's possible. I'm challenging each of you to look forward, not backward. See, for every setback, there's a comeback. For every opportunity, there will be a challenge. And for every challenge, there will be an opportunity. Our mindset will always make the difference. You are all one decision away from a better future, career, relationships, and better life. Let's make that our focus moving forward. My mom would always tell me growing up that tough times would never last, but tough people do. Well, I'm telling each of you the same. Make today be start, the start of something special. Take on my challenge on your journey toward greatness. My amazing seniors of the class of 2020, the two greatest days in your life, the day you were born and the day you know why. Go tackle this life. Be fearless. I love you and I'm so proud of you. Thank you for welcoming me as your principal. I can't wait to see the great things you do with your life. Congratulations and thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I introduce our keynote speaker tonight, Brigadier General Retired, George Canales. Oh, hi, Buckeye Union Hawks, there you are. I've been looking for you. I was hoping you could uh, show me the inside of your school. Looks fantastic. And I know you've got a lot of great memories in there. What a rough spring it's been. I feel for you guys. This pandemic's personal for me too. I've got a senior graduating in this district and I'm very proud of him. But we're gonna do the best we can. In the few minutes I have, I wanna give you a couple lessons from my own life I think that'll help you. And my whole theme is we gotta help each other. If, if you do your part and if, and if you have each other's back, there's no reason Despite this pandemic, you can't achieve every dream and every goal you've got in mind. And I know you're ready. Um, your parents say so, your teachers say so, and that diploma you're gonna get, it says so. It says that you have mastered everything that these talented people have thrown at you the last four years, indeed the last 12 years. And that diploma says not to rest on your laurels, but you're ready to go out there with the rest of us and try to make this world a better place. So, here we go. Several things. The first thing, your parents are going to like this, you may not. I need you alive at the end of the summer. And what I mean by that is every graduation, sadly, we lose teenagers to drunk drivers, uh, accidents, and at worse and I need you guys healthy and well at the end of the summer. No texting, and especially this year, please, no large gatherings. Infecting 
um, grandma and grandpa and your parents is not cool. So enough of that, but please be alive at the end of the summer so you can launch. Um, I want you to talk to your parents. Here's the deal. I know you think that you're the first generation to discover sex and drugs and rock and roll, but uh, to disappoint you, you're not. Your parents were where you are in the blink of an eye ago, and they know what happens next. So please sit down with them, ask them about their lessons in life. What have they learned so far? What about love, life, and money, and careers? If you ask them, you'll be surprised what you learn, and it'll save you headaches down the road, okay? The next one is I want you to be civil, nice, and respectful. We've lost our way in this country. Listen to the politicians. They run to each corner. They don't talk to each other. They don't listen. And that's key if we're going to move this country forward. So please, please, in your dialogues with one another, be respectful, be nice, be kind. Next, I want you to be as resourceful and as flexible as you possibly can be. Be resilient. If, if, if in these days uh, it's hard to reach your goal, figure out another way to get around. And I'll give you an example from my own story. My military career almost didn't get started because I had my heart set on being a Navy pilot, a Naval aviator. But when I, when I went through the process, I flunked the eye test and then I flunked, I flunked the Navy psychiatric test. Yeah, here it is. You gotta pick one now. Do you consider yourself a slob or a snob? And would you rather take a walk in the desert, uh, play a game of tennis, or be on a football team? Anyway, you get the idea. Most of the guys at that point left. But I said, well, isn't there something else I can do? And they said, well, you could be a navigator. The guy in the back seat thought, hmm, in those days, navigators couldn't even have command. But I said yes, and it made all the difference. I was able to pivot, and that's what I want you to do too, if reaching your goal the first time isn't happening. The next thing is I want you to lead. We desperately need committed, caring, courageous, decisive leaders in this country. And the thing about leadership is, it'll come to you when you least expect it. When I was 14, I was a follower. I was one of those shy kids in the back of the classroom. I was on the cross country team and I was running one of my races. It had never occurred to me to plan ahead as to where the course went on a golf course because I always came in middle of the pack. Well, midway through the race, I was in the lead. Think of it, nobody was in front of me and I didn't know what to do. I had, to be, I had to slow down and get passed up by five other runners to the finish line. And I thought, never again will I allow that to happen. So ever since then, I've watched leaders around me and I've thought to myself, what would I do if I were in their position? So be prepared to lead. It will come to you when you least expect it. The next thing is, I want you to be proud you're an American. We do live in a great country. But I want you to be smart about it and humble about it. And here's what I mean by that. I don't want you to believe the first rant on social media, the first opinion of your friend, the first newscast, the first thing you hear. You, you have this diploma from this fabulous institution and you're, you're educated. I want you to think about the issues and make up your own mind. And then you'll be able to participate in this great experiment called the United States of America. And oh, by the way, in six months, there's an election. And it really matters. How many of you are registered to vote? Not enough. Okay, how many of you are voting? Uh-uh, I need 100%. There is a ghostly echelon of men and women that have died for your right to vote. And this is your shot and your chance. And this election matters, so I'll see you in November. The next point I want to make is I know you have dreams and you have goals, but here's, here's the key. Let somebody know let the right person know your dreams and they will think of you when the time comes. So um, it's key. I, my big break in my military career was uh, squadron command of an aviation squadron. And I learned years later that the only reason I got the job was I was the only one that asked for it. 
Simple as that. Okay, next. Get your moral compass set now. Know where your true north is in these calm times because there's temptation out there and you'll be tempted to take ethical shortcuts. Your buddies might. But if your compass is set, you can help yourself and you can help your buddy when you see somebody straying across the line. Okay, now a real life good news story and I'll wrap it up. I hope you've been following the news about Navy Captain Brent Crozier. He was the recent commander of the USS Theodore Roosevelt, one of our premier aircraft carriers. Well, coming across the Pacific, he was getting more and more concerned that too many of his men and women, 4,800 of them in all, were getting infected with the coronavirus. He asked for help, he wasn't getting it, and when his message went public, he was fired by the Navy. And you should see the social media of the captain leaving the ship with hundreds of sailors chanting his name. Well, I'm happy to report a few weeks later the Navy is reconsidering and they may reinstate him. And I hope they do. It's the right call because Captain Crozier is a living example of what I'm talking about by taking care of each other and getting through this situation. Okay, you get the idea. If, if you take care of one another, you, the class of 2020, can be that generation that leads us into a better world, a more just and a happier time. So here's what I want you to do. In addition to surviving the summer and in addition to voting, those are my two mandatories, pick one of these and please do it as soon as you can. Talk to your parents. Learn to lead. Be an intelligent patriot. Tell somebody, tell the right person your dream, and by all means, do the right thing for the right reason. You do any of that, all of that, and you'll be fine. If you remember nothing else from my little talk, remember the immortal words of Dr. Zeus, who said, you have brains in your head and feet in your shoes, and you can steer yourself any direction you choose. So that's it, my friends. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Thank you again, Brigadier General Retired George Canales. Now speaking will be Buckeye Union High School District Superintendent, Mr. Eric Godfrey. Thank you, Mr. Rodriguez. On behalf of the Buckeye Union High School District Governing Board, Buckeye Union High School District Administration, and the Buckeye Union High School Administration and staff, congratulate the class of 2020. I would also like to thank the parents, guardians, and the loved ones who, through their support, help these remarkable young men and women accomplish this first of many dreams to come true. As we prepare to confirm the graduates, I will leave you with one thought. We cannot become who we are going to be by remaining who we are today. Sometimes it seems that everyone has a clear idea of how you should lead your life, but the key is for you to know who you are and who you want to be and to take the action to get there. All you have to do is start. Mr. Rodriguez, would you please request the conferring of the Buckeye Union High School graduating class of 2020. Mr. Godfrey, on behalf of the faculty at Buckeye Union High School, it is with pride that I certify to you that the members of the 2020 graduating class of Buckeye Union High School have completed the course of study prescribed by the Buckeye Union High School Governing Board and have met all requirements of the Arizona State Board of Education for high school graduation and are therefore eligible to receive their diplomas. Mr. Rodriguez, on behalf of the Governing Board and Administration of Buckeye Union High School District Number 201, I extend congratulations to each graduate. With your assurance that the members of the class of 2020 have completed the required state and local graduation requirements, I authorize the conferring of diplomas for the class of 2020 at Buckeye Union High School. Acosta. Juan Aguilar Munoz. Josiah Al Shuaib. Jacqueline Alcantar Cruz. Nathan Alcaraz. Athmar Aldela Hamawi. 
Aiden Almanza. Elijah Amin. Taylor Amrich. Jason Angos. Melissa Angelo. Enrique Angelo Donato. Alexis Ariano. Anneli Ariano. Jackson Arnold. Yvette Arredondo Avalos. Alonzo Artiega Gutierrez. Felicia Auer. Anthony Avalos. Fernando Vahina Belmonte. Christopher Baker. Frederick Baker. Carson Bales. Ezekiel Barajas. Ailene Barcenas. Montana Barnett. Delphi Barr. Jose Barrios Enriquez. Jimmy Barron. Megan Barton. Savannah Becker. Lily Bellotti Tippy. Michael Beltran. Santiago Beltran. Christopher Bender Carpenter. Rachel Benneke. Ariel Benitez. Devin Bermudez. Jada Berry. Aaron Blake. Miguel Bolanos Hernandez. Madison Bonilla Santos. Giovanni Bontempi. Zayante Boothman. Michelle Botello. Victoria Bracamontes. Melanie Brambia Barre. Anne Marie Brown. Clyde Brown. Ethan Brown. Khadija Brown. Elizabeth Benning. David Burka. Joshua Urciaga. Estrella Bybee. Analeli Calvia Sanchez. 
Griseida Campos. Candy Campos. Sofia Campos Gallegos. Ashanti Alia Cantu. Yamalet Carbajal. Joel Carbajal Garcia. Jacob Carlin. Manuel Carranza Yareno. Davian Carrera. Tony Carrillo. Monica Carrillo Hernandez. Jonathan Cash. Shane Cash. Cameron Casper. Stephanie Castaneda Herrera. Sofia Castro Carrillo. George Ceballos. Vince Serda. Adrian Cervantes. Joel Cervantes Avia. Raquel Cervantes Hernandez. Alexia Chacon. Mariela Chadez. Jeremy Chambers. Filberto Chavera. Dawson Chaconi. Jaden Clark. Tyler Clark. Haley Clifton. Joseph Contreras. Melissa Cook. Michelle Horn. Cassandra Coronado. Prida Jasmine Coral. Jimena Coral Cabrera. Yaelene Cosio. Zachary Crockett. Justin Krosky. Abel Cruz. Jacqueline Cruz Montez. Dominic Cruz Palacios. Taryn Daniels. Annie Dankworth. Cameron Day. Delando Day. Vanessa De Lao. Gavin Dement. Christian Diaz. Paul Dickinson. Joseph Dominguez. 
Ashley Doss. Ashley Schaefer. Carlos Duran Martinez. Gianna Eblen. Eric Elizalde. Danielle Ellington. Julian Espino Villegas. Adrian Esqueda. Marie Esteen. Natalie Uresti Torres. Shane Evans. Ariel Anthony Fabella. Michael Felix. Noelia Felix Leon. Katerin Figueroa. Zach Flannery. Justin Franco Magana. America Frias. Haley Fuller. Juan Carlos Gachuso. Anahi Garcia. Andrea Garcia. Jolena Garcia. Jorge Garcia. Leslie Garcia. Yuvia Garcia. Navea Garcia. Luis Garcia Guerrero. Ashley Garcia Navarrete. Ariana Gary. Juliana Gary. Michael Gaden. Rosa Geraldo. Juan Gerardo. Haley Gibson. Taylor Gilmore. James Gibbons. Lewis Gibbons. Carlos Godoy de la Cruz. Zenia Gomez. Angelica Gonzalez. Hugo Gonzalez Villanueva. Brianna Gonzalez. Carolina Gonzalez. Damian Gonzalez. Emma Gonzalez. Isaiah Gonzalez. Shayla Gonzalez. Francisco Gonzalez Ochoa. Cesar Gonzalez Torres. 
Seth Gonzalez Torres. Gail Graham. Esmeralda Granado. Cody Gregory. Donna Grijalva. Juliet Saraya Grijalva Figueroa. April Guerrero. Gabriela Guerrero Osuna. Kevin Gutierrez. Marcos Gutierrez. Josue Gutierrez Avalos. Andrew Guzman. Caitlin Hacker. Kaylin Haggard. Giamone Hamilton. Kyle Hanna. Asher Hansen. Charlie Hansen. Caitlin Hardsock. Uriah Harris. Shelby Hayden. Sergio Heredia. Anthony Hernandez. Alicia Herrera. Isabel Herrera. Alexis Hoffman. Mason Hogan. Nicholas Holterman. Derek Holtz. Ashley Horton. Kylan Hughes. Stratton Hunter. Andrew Abara. Ivan Abara. Emily Insetta. Karime Iteralde. Kylie Jackson. Angel Adamil. Alex Jenkins. Alfonso Jimenez. Suzette Jimenez. Luis Jimenez Tahonar. Kieran Kalima. Destin Kelly. Jovan Kemmer. Dorian Khan. Corey King. Elise Knight. Dylan Krug. Brenly Lackey. 
Ethan Ladd. Corey Ladd. Kiana LaFleur. Rachel Lawrence. Dalton Lejeune. Jaylee Leppert. Tejane Lewis. Evelyn Leva Diaz. Layla Lizarraga Estrella. Ileana Longoria. Valeria Lopez. Vanessa Lopez. Jade Lopez Barrios. Ernie Lopez Salinas. Sebastian Lopez Torres. Baltazar Lopez Vera. Isaac Lopez Mora. Michaela Lopez Mora. Jesse Lucas. Jocelyn Lugo. Melissa Lugo. Abel Lujan. Kason Ray Lyons. Angel Macedo. Joseph McKenzie. Bianca Madrid. Joe Madrigal. Kiana Maestes. Connor McGuire. Caleb Mayer. Lindsay Maldonado. Alan Martinez. Giovanni Martinez. Luis Martinez. Imena Martinez Mendoza. Samuel Martinez Monteverde. Jaylene Martinez Olguin. Eliezer Matos Jimenez. August McCoy. Jordan McCoy. Michael McCoy. Nicholas McDaniels. Kyam McFadden. Rochelle McNamara. Jonathan Melendrez Escobedo. Brianna Mendez. Jonathan Mendez. Stacia Myers. Abigail Miglio. Victoria Miller. 
Georgina Miranda. Isaac Mireles Prieto. Anthony Mitchell. Miguel Monroy. Johanna Montanez Cervantes. Sebastian Montanez Hernandez. Gabriela Montoya. Omar Morales. Sebastian Morales. Jennifer Moreno. Tyree Moser. Sarah Mullen. Gabriel Munoz. Jacob Murillo. Lila Murray. Andrew Nava. Natalie Negrete. Aliyah Newton. Venus Oshner. Anna Olavi. Juan Angel Oliveros Ruiz. Savannah Over. Alejandro Oris Moreno. Silas Orozco. Isaac Ortega. Natalie Ortega. Leah Otejeros. Fabian Osorio Hernandez. Manuel Polomeris Castilla. Jade Parker. Gabriela Para. Kevin Para Reina. Edgar Passos Rivera. Brianna Pena. Ariana Porato Barron. Amber Perez. Justice Perry. Gloria Peterson. Gerardo Pina Campos. Carlos Benito Aguilar. Jamily Porqueo Macias. Thomas Potter. Ariane Proa. Brianna Puente. Faith Purcell. Jacob Quinton. Luis Quiroz. Coe Quiver. Justin Rallison. Bianca Ramirez. 
Alexander Ramirez Hernandez. Juliana Randall. Ruben Ravello. Vanessa Razzo Campana. Shelly Redhouse. Justin Redman. Zenobia Reyes. Alexander Reyes Santana. Zachary Richardson. Tristan Riley. Kenneth Rios. Ryan Rios. Bill Rivas. Edgar Rivas. Abraham Rivera. Amaya Rivera. Alex Robertson. Bailey Rodriguez. Harley Rodriguez. Jonathan Rodriguez. Guillen Rodriguez de Jesus. Elvia Rojas Calderas. Cade Rose. Gage Ross. Angela Rubio Alvarado. Ethan Ruiz. Enaro Ruiz. Sarah Ruiz. Jorge Manuel Ruiz Suarez. Ronald Russell. Niabi Saganitzo. Vanessa Salas. Marco Salas Echevesta. Riley Sanchez. Ulysses Sanchez. Juan Sanchez Garcia. Yakali Sanchez Gonzalez. Jasmine Sandoval. Savannah Sandoval. Manuel Sandoval Alvarado. Alexa Santelen. Avery Sawyer. Shelby Schilling. Alexis Serrano. Alicia Serrano. Zachary Shamblin. Marietta Shuren. Adam Sierra. Mario Sierra Velasquez. Mia Sofuentes Lopez. 
Xavier Smith. Ebiezer Solares Vasquez. Sarah Solorio. Frank Sotelo. Jaslyn Soto. Jorge Soto. McKenna Stouffer. Jaime Susano Simbrone. DeAndre Thomas. Trevor Thompson. Nicholas Tice. Sierra Tarina. Andrew Tolls. Summer Tokias. Emmanuel Torres Gonzalez. Garrett Tramp. Lauren Trimble. Emily Trujillo. Lacey Truxel. Carson Turner. Maria Uribe Gomez. Juan Uribe Moya. Valerie Orquillo. Jacob Urdiaga. Maribel Veca Morales. Bolette Valdez. Israel Valenzuela. Luis Valenzuela Gracia. Samantha Valenzuela Hernandez. Isaiah Van Osdell. Katie Van Osdell. Amaya Vasquez. Anaya Vega. Vicente Vega. Evelyn Vega Miranda. Emily Velarde. Felipe Verdugo. Francisco Verdugo. Leanne Verdugo. Mary Villalobos. Maurizio Villalobos. Saida Villalobos Parilla. Danielle Villasenor. Donovan Wahlberger. Alyssa Walker. Josiah Walker. Ilea Ward. Wyatt Webb. Jasmine Waymire. Javon Williams. 
Lionel Williams. Jade Wilson. Scott Wilson. Dakota Wood. Caleb Wright. Ethan Yarn. Brandon Yates. Jalen Yorks. Brandon Young. Kyle Young. Yariza Marzamora Bermudez. Caitlin Zenko. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2020 has met the requirements set forth by the state of Arizona and the Buckeye Union School District. Seniors, it is now time to move your tassels to the left. Congratulations, class of 2020.